Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Libra weekly money and career reading from May 1st to the 7th, 2023. Libra. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, May 1st to the 7th. 2023 for the sign of Libra. Thank you to each and every one for watching, supporting this channel, sharing your energies, your journeys. Okay. Let's see what we have. Libra, money and career, weekly, May 1st to the 7th. 2023, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Action Forward on a Project, Libra, Action Forward, Imposing an Idea, or you are starting quickly on a new job, new collaboration, new project, you're working with a team you're not alone so you're building something three of pentacles or it is you're joining a team in a company or you are building a team within a business right it's either joining or building but it is teamwork and here we have the knight of swords imposing um or or you're eager, right, with the night. You're determined and eager to push forward. You want this to happen. You want this to happen yesterday. Maybe you're confirmed working on a team, or maybe you're confirmed a job or something like that, and you, you're excited to move it forward quickly. All right, there are lots of cards that popped out, so I'm going to put the take these first. Stressful. Let's see where these energies are going. Yes. So, are you joining a team? Are you joining uh, a company, right? Starting something new. It, um, it doesn't feel like it's something new, but it seems like it is new within a job or new within a company. Working on something new, something rewarding. You're impatient. You're impatient to get the job done. You're impatient to start this or you're impatient for it to come together or to push forward, find solutions, develop it, right? You're impatient that it goes faster. Take your time. Take your time. Temperance, temperance, right? Um, understand that this is happening happening in due time might not be at the speed that you would like it to happen libra don't push 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 like a bulldozer allow everything to come in make sure you make your decisions no rash decisions right decisions with um mindful uh reflection and um uh mature right mature reflection right don't rush anything in temperance is about stabilizing your energy moderation right let it stabilizing your flow um and and it's almost like you're getting your life back on on this on this situation but you want it to you want it you know, quickly you want it to happen quickly and but the money is coming in king of pentacles right um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe you're working with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe that's your boss, maybe that's a manager, someone you're working with, or someone that hired you, if it's not that, this is you getting, you know, with finances coming in, settling in, stabilizing your finances, this it looks like it's a rewarding collaboration, or you're, you know, you're bossing up, making more money, uh, but it's challenging and you would like this to go faster. That's what I keep feeling faster. Get it done. Let's get this over with. Let's pull it all together. Let's finalize it, whatever it is, right? Whether it's a project within a company, whether it's your project, whether it's your business, you're eager 
um, to to make it all, bring it all together, right? But uh, just remain calm, even when it feels stressful, even when it feels a little frustrating, right? Um, manage your emotions. Uh, keep composed, right? Even if it's a little frustrating. Don't let the little things bog you down. Um, respect for balance. Respect for balance and tranquility. That will help you achieve what it is you want to achieve here. What it is you want to complete. Yes, channel your emotions, Libra. Here here you are. I feel channeling your emotions or else you're, you're working with a water sign around you. Doesn't have to be. I feel like it's you listening to others, channeling your emotions, follow your intuition. You're gaining more knowledge on this. You're gaining more skills. You're open to others. This might be a challenging job. This might be a challenging new job or new project or new business, right? And so you're entering a zone where you're going to learn, where you are going to open up to new skills, new knowledge, and really gaining more experience. So allow all that to come in and let yourself guided, let yourself be guided by your intuition. Three of Cups, celebrating. So I think you're excited to work with these people. You're excited to work with this team. You like this team. You like this environment. You just want it to move faster, right? Um, but allow allow this to calm you and, and sort of steer you in the right direction, in the right energies. Yes, it's different. Look at that. Letting go. Letting go the anxiety, letting go your old self. This is new, new way of working, new team, new people. I'm surprised we don't have an ace, but you are still dealing with either a situation from the past or you're still in that situation and you are now moving into a new phase. Right, moving, moving into a new phase in your job, in your career, opening up to something far more valuable, far more interesting right here. So l allow it to come in and, and really try. I know it's easy and I never take these energies lightly. I try to let go, right, and close those doors of, of the past situations that um, that didn't serve you or didn't go the way you wanted or do you didn't feel you were heard the way you thought you wanted to be or, or you know, it wasn't the job for you and you didn't agree in the philosophy in the decisions, right? You like fair, you like square and you like to make sense of things and you want, you, you like to feel that, you know, it's the right decision in the right place with the right people and that's not always the case right so i think you're 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 ready now to embrace this new opportunity this new project business right job and then you're um you're 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 starting to see the importance and the promise of this renewal this transformation this all new letting go of the past letting go of your past self and sort of transform transforming and learning to let go of those unhealthy attachments to push forward into something that makes more sense with a deeper meaning for you a more significant meaning yes six of so okay all right Three of Swords, so here we are with the Three of Swords, the deceptions from the past or the deceptions now, right, of a job that was that you didn't understand or that went south or you didn't agree with, right, whatever it is that you are healing from, from the past, right, there you go, Six of Cups, the emotions from the past, past triggers, past situations that here you are. Libra, in all your glory, making sense of this, back in control, back in something that makes sense to you. This team here, this teamwork, this situation here is you learning how to readapt to this job, the, the, this energizing you. And I think that this impatience or 
this sort of wanting to impose, wanting people to understand you or to understand that it has to be done faster or you have a better idea or something like that. And it's not condescending or in a negative way at all. That is just a trigger reaction from the past situation. You don't want a repeat of a past energy, of a past feeling, right, that might trigger something. And that is why you also want to get the job done quickly. You don't want, you know, it's almost like you're afraid of a repeat. Follow your intuition. You're in the right place. Things have changed. Let go. Let go and channel your emotions. Don't bulldoze. Allow it all to come together and just make decisions day by day. All right, let's see. Yes, it's a big decision, and but it's also a big change for you. It's a pivotal change. It's a pivotal moment in your life, and that's why bet between the the high priestess and the death card and the justice and the temperance, like balance it out, balance it out. It is a big transition. It is a big change, but it's rewarding. It's abundant. It's successful. It's stabilizing your career. It's stabilizing your finances. Still have triggers from the past. We all do. We all have triggers, especially when we enter a new job or a new situation, right? We're scared or we have this anxiety of the unknown, not quite sure, especially when we like to be in control, right? But you're expanding, expanding your horizons, expanding your knowledge, maybe taking on more responsibility. You're pushing the envelope. You're pushing your career into something maybe new, new that, um, new, probably it feels like you've never done this before. Um, and maybe that's triggering the anxiety, right? But um, King of Pentacles transforming an idea into reality, you're enthusiastic, you're, you're ready to push forward, ready to transform. You're all there, Libra, right? You're there uh, in the job, uh, getting the job done, exciting. Um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn can be the person you're working with, the person that hired you doesn't have to be. It can also be you with this King of Pentacles. Um, this is a, it feels like a creative task, right? A successful creative task. And you're two times the King of Pentacles. Yes. Um, you coming into your own abundance, prosperity, right? But also ambitious, ambitious on this. It's almost like you want to prove yourself. You want to prove yourself from the past situation. You're reliable, right? You're reliable on this, but you're also very confident in managing your financial situation. You're identifying opportunities. You want this to work. You want to, you're looking for growth. You're looking for opportunities to grow and you want to make it happen. You're very ambitious here, but also very disciplined in investing yourself in a long-term um situation, long-term business, long-term financial stability, and um, um, you're, you're transforming. You're really transforming your vision into something tangible. And you're working hard with, you know, sort of great success, <coughs> but it's stressful. And you don't want to repeat from the past. Wow. Okay, and then there you go. Determine, determine, determine the ambition here, right? You're not letting anybody in your way. And there you go, the rewards. Two times the King of Pentacles, right? And the Ten of Pentacles, finding financial stability. That's bringing back a little serenity in your mind, in your home, a little financial stability, letting go of the past, letting go of those hangups, letting go of those mindsets that you had in the past and try not to drag on too many swords going into calmer energies, calmer waters. Yes, this is all something that you had to deal with. I almost want to put this on top. Give me one moment. Two of swords. 
you had to make a decision or you have to make a decision. What direction are you going to take? Wh which, which direction are you going to move into? Four of Swords, take a breather, take a moment. And here you have the Death card, which is the complete transformation, complete renewal, right? It's You have two times the Death card. So this is something really, really... Um, the, it's really the end of a cycle, the end of a phase, the end of a cycle in your career, in your job, and now you're all gung-ho in this new situation here that you feel is fair now because you have the justice. You're, you're back in control. Maybe you're back in control in a management position. Maybe you're back in control in organizing a project, in organizing a budget. Feels like there's a lot of money involved here. You're budgeting something within a job, within a business. And and I'm just going to put the... Um, the the chariot over here because this is your past situation or the end of the situation you're you're you know the cycle maybe you're in now moving into the chariot you, you know no looking back um and you know the justice is whatever you're destined to this is where you are right that's the universe sort of positioning you positioning you sorry back into where you're supposed to be stability just fair that's where you want to be right and and sometimes whether you want it or not the justice sort of you know sways you in that direction um but for you libra that's what it is you are looking for right and here we have with the chariot the willpower the determination that you you've set your objectives and now you're sort of channeling your inner power to carry it out. Fierce, fierce dedication, really, to bring it all to fruition, to bring it all together. Yes. And even though you would like it to go faster, it is coming in and it will be done and it will be successful just at its own time and its own rhythm. Allow it to, to you know, settle and move at its own rhythm. But you are so committed to achieve this goal. And I think you will succeed. I don't think it's time to be passive and you're certainly not passive. That's for sure, right? But draw upon your, upon your willpower to sort of channel these emotions, right? And channel through obstacles that might be in your way in a calmer, calmer, calmer. I keep, I keep wanting to calm down, calm down these energies, but it's powerful. It's dedication. And it's, it's really like you wanted that job. You got that job. You wanted to start that business. You start that business. You wanted to change directions. You're changing directions. You wanted more responsibility. You're getting more responsibility, right? It is about you wanting more, wanting more money and wanting more power and maybe not power, but you want more money and you know what it takes to make more money and you know those decisions you have to make for more money, right? It's dedication, 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 and, and really channeling, channeling, you know, your objectives. What is it, what it is you have yet set yourself up for. And now you're pulling it all together, right? But it is, is it easy? No, no, nothing is easy. I would say nothing is flu, nothing is fluid. Nothing is easy. Um, uh, always obstacles, always decisions. But when we have a clear vision of what we want and we are dedicated and channeling that power and channeling those ideas and that ambition, then we can push forward. We can make anything happen. Yeah, how long it takes, that we don't know, right? But it does really empower you to be in the right place and connect with the right people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libra. Fantastic power here in, in your career, in your objectives. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Libra, weekly. Money and career, May 1st to the 7th. 2023. Libra. 
weekly money and career may 1st to the 7th comment down below libra let me know if you connect with these energies and if you don't want to comment which i completely understand not everybody wants to comment on these platforms or share their lives on these platforms just leave a heart down below let me know you connected with these energies all right let's see what we have well justice there we go justice again what it will be it will be right for your highest good uh this is where you should be and this is you know where you belong king of wands assertive bold and the devil yes so the devil for me i'm gonna put this over here the devil for me is this situation over here the attachments feeling that you have to do things a certain way that that is where you must be or how it must be done or the job has to be that way or else it doesn't make sense to you sort of detaching yourself from that right from those toxic energies where there's no other way to do it there's only one way to see it one path to get there and one way to make it happen you're detaching yourself from that little by little and that's why maybe things are a little stressful. You're realizing that other people do things in a different way. Maybe this new situation, new job, new company, new business, right? It will be different for each and every one. Maybe these people do it in a different way. And you're realizing that it works as well, that that is okay, that you can find your place there, even though it's a little different. And the king of wands, assertive making it happen you have two kings of pentacles and the king of wands you are in your power you are in your world even though you doubt a little bit or it's the transformation right the in between uh the past situation and this new objective that sort of throws you off a little bit but i mean two three kings you're in control you're powerful you're right where you belong. Just a, It's just adapting to the new situation, right? Adapting and understanding to let go with the devil, right? Sort of, you know, the devil's being tricked. Being tricked that, you know, there, you don't have control or there's only one way, right? It's sort of ending that and being aware so you can take action. Being aware so you can, you know... Um, change the pattern. And um, yes, it takes power. Yes, it takes strength to free yourself from those patterns influencing you. But it's there. It's happening. You're making it happen. And you're bringing it all together. Connecting with your inner guidance. Connecting with your highest good. And, and learning along the way, bringing in more skills and experience to pull it all together. Beautiful, beautiful reading, uh, Libra. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if you connected with this reading or just put a heart down below if you don't want to share your journey. Uh, thank you so much for watching again. Have a great week, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.